So 39,000 women tracked for over 19 years. Very large study. And it looked at women who took vitamins and women who didn't. Well, the women who took the vitamins, it turns out, because people take vitamins in general, care more about their health. They were skinnier. They had lower diabetes. They exercised more. Yet there was a 15% higher death rate. Death is a bad side effect. Death rate in the women who took the vitamins. So you take a step back and you go, hmm. You then you look at vitamin D. You know, these are the headlines in the last couple of months from papers. According to this, vitamin D can do everything, right? Well, last week or two weeks ago, the United States Preventive Task Force made the proclamation we no longer recommend vitamin D or calcium for any person in this country. Why? Because osteoporosis, which is a disease of aging, is not a disease of deficiency in calcium or vitamin D. It's a genetic disease. There is zero data that taking calcium and vitamin D will prevent bone fractures. Zero. In fact, if you give high-dose vitamin D to a woman over 70, you increase the rate of bone fracture by 26%. So again, I look at this and I say, why? We're all doing it. If you look now in the United States, 75% of us are, quote, deficient in vitamin D. 97% of African Americans are low on vitamin D. So the first thing you said is, who defined what normal was? I didn't come with an instruction book when I was born. Maybe some of you did. But I don't know what normal is. And so I guarantee you these people don't have rickets, which is a clinical lack of vitamin D. And so what happened is, when you measure one node of a network, you get screwed up. Remember, there's vitamin D, there's what binds it, the receptor, and there are all the signaling molecules. When you're low in vitamin D, maybe you've just got a tightly binding receptor, an upregulated receptor. When you take a pill, which is a big bolus of vitamin D, it doesn't work very well. The body, our you know, exquisite body, designed a mechanism to block very large amounts of vitamin D absorption. What is it? It's called tanning. The only reason you tan is to block vitamin D absorption. So right there it tells you, your body doesn't like vitamin D all at once, yet we keep doing it with these pills. No data, again, that there's a benefit. So this is the data, again, women 70 years and older, 26% higher fracture rate. Get a load of this. Government does a $247 million study, almost a quarter billion dollars, where they start to follow men, where they randomize to vitamin E or placebo to prevent prostate cancer. Why? Because at the time, 45% of men in this country were taking vitamin E either alone or in the form of a multivitamin. They stopped the study three and a half years into it. Why? Because there was a 17% increase in prostate cancer in the men who took the vitamin E. And it lasts for three years after stopping. Vita equals life. Therefore, vitamins are good for you. What is a vitamin? All it is is something the body can't synthesize enough of. It doesn't mean more is better. And that's our problem in our country. We're a supersize me mentality. More, more, more. I guarantee you, you know, I've never seen in my, all my years of practicing medicine a case of scurvy, which is lack of vitamin C, or rickets, lack of vitamin D. It doesn't happen much in our country. Yet all the time, we act in the other and we take these pills. We spend more on vitamins in our country than we do in medical research. Something is wrong there. We spend more on soft drinks in our country than we do on medical research. So again, something is wrong there. Our government looked at 63, the only 63 placebo randomized trials of vitamins for the prevention of heart disease and cancer with more than 500 individuals. None of them had a benefit, ever. And so again, you look at that, and then you look at the counter. So we said, listen, high-dose antioxidants, they block cancer, right? I don't know, but people say that. So we said, listen, let's take smokers and former smokers, because they have the higher cancer rate, and most of the studies were not positive because cancer incidence was too low in the period study. So we took those, 18,000 of them, and we randomized to beta carotene or vitamin A versus placebo. And what do you know? 28% higher lung cancer rate, 17% higher death rate in the people who took these high-dose antioxidants. So again, why are people doing it? Because it's empowering. You're taking charge of your health care. But again, I challenge you to ask the question of your doctor, or whoever's telling you to do it is, show me data that it actually works.